You know, we all grew up under apartheid. And if you even ask a child, a black child on the street, mm. they will tell you about the problems because they see the discrimination against your parents. Under apartheid, our parents were treated with such disrespect. They were called all kinds of bad names. So children are very sensitive to this and they feel something's wrong with the system. So that's what inspired me that if that all of us uh, at school, our conversation was all about things we were deprived of. So I think struggle inspired me to care for everyone's human rights. Our daily diet was listening to the most atrocious crimes that, that human beings could commit. And each day you just got sick, all the judges listening to this. Sometimes we told them to stop the video because it was too painful. You, you never forget these details, you remember them for life. So each day you think you've heard the worst until next day you hear something more terrible. The one incident that um, truly hurts very much because that incident was not alleged specifically in the indictment, so we had to ignore that evidence. We said we cannot look at that evidence. And that was that this uh, mayor of Taba called uh, John Paul Akiesu, he was a mayor. And he's a very good friend. He was a teacher before he became mayor, and his good friend was also a teacher. And this mayor went from door to door looking for that teacher, not only for the teacher, but for various other Tutsis. They hunted them down like animals, and they killed that teacher, but they picked up his wife, who was also a teacher, I think, and she was very heavily pregnant, and they brought her to the communal. And um, the Hutu uh, soldiers who were under the orders of uh, it's not only soldiers, the Hutu killers. They turned her over, they trampled and, and kicked her until she aborted the baby. So you see what a terrible incident that is. It just doesn't make sense why they could be so brutal. But we judges couldn't take that incident into account. So it's as if her, she has not had justice. So these are some of the difficulties when you're a judge sitting there. You have to be very professional. From Africa, we're very surprised that European governments are seeing this as a crisis. There has historically always been migration and migrants are valued. Immigrants are valued. They're not a threat. They're not a border threat. But these are unusual times. They're fleeing for their lives. They're fleeing from starvation. They're fleeing with their families. Surely this is the time when human rights consideration should apply. The values and the humanity of Europe is at test right now. It's Europe that uh, contributed towards developing these international standards for the protection of refugees for uh, against their forced repatriation to their countries where they are at risk. These are all rules written a long time ago. In my own country in South Africa, it's very attractive to poor people from the rest of Africa or people fleeing from conflict, DRC, Somalia. We have uh, close to two million uh, undocumented people in South Africa, but South Africa follows international law and has, does not detain a single person. It's true there are problems. The locals feel that these foreign nationals, as they call them, are taking their jobs and taking their women. I headed a, an inquiry in my province set up by the provincial parliament, and we found it's not true that they're taking the jobs away. But we found there's a lot of stereotyping, prejudice, and hate speech on the part of both sides. So it's important that the so-called xenophobia that the media is screaming about in the South African situation should be corrected. Media has a role to be very factual when they report these situations. Otherwise, people just believe what they read. They feel that, uh, you know, everything's going to be 
uh, destroyed. The very next day, they, they're going to be killed. And so most people in South Africa fled because of the fear of attacks, not the attacks themselves. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for your question. I, I saw the African tech report. Mm.